Hello guys, so it is Thursday, March 26th, and I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of a life update in the midst of this whole panic. Um, I have tried to record this video multiple times, so I don't know what to say, I don't know what's going on, I don't think really anyone does at this point, but I guess I should deliver my point of view on my channel as a vlogger and as a big thing that's affecting everyone in the world's life right now. This is my life update from Tokyo. So, um, in Tokyo, it was kind of, it started out in Japan a little more serious and scary because it was like in Asia first. And so people were panicking, buying all the toilet paper and stuff because someone, I don't know how this exactly happened, but someone said that toilet paper is like made of the same material that those face mask things are made out of. Okay. Um, and then schools were closed for a while. A couple of like workplaces closed, uh, like a lot of malls started closing early and opening later to like change the train schedules around. Um, a lot of people were wearing masks on the train. It was slightly less crowded in touristy places. A lot of tours were shut down. A lot of like touristy things were like closed. Disneyland closed for a couple weeks. But then my job didn't close down. A couple other English teaching places didn't. My boyfriend's job did, and he is a teacher at a juku and also teaches at an eikaiwa sometimes. Um, but it's opened back up, and all the schools opened back up, and things kind of like went back to normal seeming, right around the time that abroad things started to get serious. Like I'm seeing on Facebook and through Twitter and stuff, a lot of my friends in America and other countries, people are freaking out. And then in Japan, it seemed like everything was kind of settling down. So I didn't, I don't know, I didn't want to seem like I don't care and like we're not caring here, but it's kind of like it, that sense of urgency and anxiety in the air kind of dissipated. So then it's like, I'm still going to work normally, getting on the train, then coming home and checking social media. Then I start to feel panicky after seeing social media because everyone's freaking out there. But then here everything, I'm just going to work and like teaching classes and like dressing up in Easter collared glows for an Easter event. And then I'm seeing like a lot of people posting about what they're doing in quarantine and stuff and like we're just going out and about and then last weekend there was like Hanami stuff going on and even I admit I went out, I went on my bike, I didn't like have a Hanami group party or anything. I just wanted to explore around on my bike, uh, some of my local favorite places and they were not like overly crowded but there were still a couple people around. And then I went to work, I had to go to Futako Tamagawa for work. And it's like beautiful, the Tamagawa River and lots of cherry blossoms there. I explored that area. It's a nice wide open area, so it's not like crowded with lots of people. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know. People just kind of were like going out and doing things like normal. And then I feel like on social media, people are like going out like, look, everyone's just doing Hanami like they don't care and stuff. And I don't know, because I was like one of those people who was also going out and seeing the cherry blossoms, but in this time of uncertainty no one really knows what's going on including me and I don't know and then suddenly like earlier this week I guess the seriousness started to pick up again in Japan because the Olympics are being officially postponed and I think that's kind of why media and stuff was trying to keep it calm here I don't know for sure I don't know what I'm talking about I'm just trying to let you guys know my opinion and my take on this um but yeah, now that the Olympics has been postponed, as far as I know, I still have work today. That was two days ago. Um, today, the day before, today, yesterday, <laughs> yesterday, um, the mayor, I believe, of Tokyo requests that everyone stay indoors this weekend. So I had a couple plans I was going to do when I thought things were going to be like, you know, calming down to normal. But now I don't think I'm going to be doing those things because they're not calming down the normal like now the numbers are going up in Tokyo again and I don't know if that's they were hidden before and now they're being shown of the people infected or whatever but I just want to let you guys know that I don't know what's going on no one knows what's going on but I'm here with you guys too um I actually just I hope that Tokyo just gets serious the whole world has to be together on this I hope that Tokyo just shuts everything down Everyone has to stay inside for however long it takes for this to pass over. Um, and I'll make the best of it if I have to stay inside. I will be with 
my boyfriend. It'll be great to actually spend some time with him. I want to look at the bright side of this as much as possible and keep this all as positive as possible in this situation because it's not easy, but positivity is like my special thing. So I'm going to keep it going. I will vlog every day. Um, that's one of my goals. I made a list of goals and things that I want to do. Like I have a bunch of vlog ideas. I can, I'll like, I'll go into more detail if it actually does become an actual quarantine um, of what my plan is, but I'm going to try to make the best of my time here. And I'm going to share it with you guys. Um, cause it'll make me feel less trapped. I hate being indoors. I hate being trapped, but I'm kind of looking forward to having a chance to be forced to stay indoors so I can get stuff done and get this done with for the sake of the world. I just want this to pass. I don't even know. It's such a weird anxiety in the air that unsurety like because like the typhoon you can see it and touch it and feel it and hear it when it happened an earthquake see touch feel hear see the damage but here it's like a ghost it's sunny and beautiful the flowers are blooming it's warm outside today I can hear like kids laughing and stuff and it's just beautiful and then I go to work like it's normal then I come home and it's dark at night I can see and feel the panic from abroad on social media you can like feel the panic in the air and it's just really weird. I went to my grocery store yesterday. It was packed, like a line all the way around the store. All like so much stuff was sold out. And I like, I got a few essentials I needed like um, cough, cough, wine. Um, <laughs> and some cereal, a couple other little things I needed and waited in line for like a long time. And... Uh, in Japan, you bag your own groceries for the most part, and you either bring your own bag or you have to buy a bag, which is like three yen, three cents, basically. And so I had my own bag with me, but um, box wine doesn't fit in my own bag very well, so I had to get one of the other bags. And I, like, as I was putting the cereal in the bag, it tore the bag all down the side, and I was already, like, after work, it was my first day, I kind of got a sort of promotion at my job and I had to do something different. I had to help with training and I was like really nervous and I felt kind of like anxious and like I did a not very good job. So I was already in a kind of, I don't know, panicky, bad mood, anxious, I don't know. Then I went grocery shopping and then seeing hordes of people and everything gone, I was like, oh, this is getting serious now here. And then... After going through the whole long line, my bag tore in half, like, so bad. My purse was already overfilled, like, my other bag. Overflowing with stuff, I just stood there, I was, like, looking between the bag and the other bag. Like, I didn't know if I wanted to cry or laugh or just, like, break down. <laughs> or, I don't know. But I just, like, so I turned over, I was, like, looking at the register, I was, like, do I have to go back in line again? Should I wait again? Should I just interrupt the cashier who's, like dealing with like hundreds of people in line right now all of the cashiers were busy then I saw a lady like frantically walk by with a whole big bunch of like the crate carry whatever shopping carry things and she was like putting them away and collecting them she seemed kind of busy but I tried to stop her she like mumbled something like I, I like just showed her the bag and I was holding a hundred yen and I just looked at her like with a panic look I didn't even I don't think I said words and then she tried to say in English I think that it costs three yen but she said like 300 or 3,000 or something, like looked at me and then she was like, Choto mate, and then just disappeared. I was like, there's no way she's coming back. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. And I was just like looking around in panic. So I was just like, okay, so they're picking up like my other bag of cereal, trying to shove it in my bag is overflowing. There's no way it's physically possible going to fit. I was just like, I don't even know what I'm doing right now, but I want to get out of here as soon as possible. And then the nice old man next to me, like, I guess he could just see this whole panic going down, and he gave me his extra plastic bag, and I was just like, Arigato gozaimasu, and I just like, I don't know, I wanted to cry, and I don't know, it was just, I don't know, it made me happy, I just wanted to share a positive thing that happened in this, I like all the positive that's coming out of this, it seems like people are trying to come together and help each other a lot, I've seen so many, like, news things online, around the world, um, but just experiencing something for myself at a time when I really needed it <laughs> made my, uh, faith in humanity restored a little bit, I guess. Um, I have to leave for work right now, <laughs> but 
yeah, he handed me the bag. And then as I left uh, again, I said, arigato gozaimasu. Like, I didn't even know what to say in English or Japanese to this man. Then he just, like, with a heartfelt, like, y you could tell it was really heartfelt. He was just like, kambate, like, good luck. We can do this. Like, you could feel that sense of togetherness in this crazy world mess. But yeah, I just wanted to share this little update with you guys that, um, yeah, we're all lost and confused and don't know what's going on. And I don't want to seem insensitive, like I'm just going about pretending this doesn't exist because it does. But it's kind of like how I've been coping, how Tokyo's been coping. We didn't have that sense of seriousness or we did, then we didn't, and then we do again, and then maybe people from abroad who are living in Japan have it a little bit differently because we have access to the social media of our like American and English and Italian friends and stuff. So we don't just have the Japanese kind of calmness of like, oh, everything's settling. We can also see that panic and it's just a weird time to be in. I don't know what I'm saying, but I want to share my feelings with you guys. We're in this together. I'm going to make the best of this. I hope you guys do too. I'm going to take you on this journey with me. Right now, I'm going to go to work because it's what I got to do for now. It's still happening. I don't know, but I will talk to you guys more later. guys so my student all three of the students that were supposed to come today did not show up as kind of expected my first thing was already closed because there were no students signed up i have to go to a different location later today um and i'm supposed to have i think three students and then one student i don't know if they're coming or not yet either but yeah, I just wanted to say one more thing. I'm going to keep posting videos during this time where I'm like out and about and doing things. A lot of those are actually from like December and winter because I actually posted one, uh, my week in the life um, video. That was actually from fall. And I got some comments like, oh, you're still going to work. Oh, you're still going out and doing things and stuff. And actually that was months ago. That was before this even existed. So I'm probably going to be posting like videos of me from lives and hanging out with friends when they came to visit Japan, going to cafes and stuff. Those are not happening right now. I like all of my plans are canceled right now. The only thing I'm doing is going to work and then occasionally like stopping at a park nearby the work location by myself. So the videos I'm taking right now are actually a lot of alone videos or I'll be like at home doing stuff with boyfriend probably. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that too. I want to keep editing a lot of my old videos that I haven't posted yet and get those up. I don't know if I'm going to schedule them for later or post them now. It really depends on if Tokyo really does go into quarantine or not because if it does, then I want to do like a daily vlog thing. So I have something that I'm working towards every day. But like I'm going to work, I guess it's, I'm going to be putting a lot of energy into YouTube. So I feel like I'm doing something that could like I don't know, be beneficial to my life, make money in the future, maybe, I don't know, that's not my main goal, but you know, if it happens, I wouldn't complain. So yeah, if I end up stuck at home, I'll post videos every day. If not, then I'll just keep editing what I've got and probably still try to work on some at home videos because actually I'm off tomorrow and the next day. Usually I'm not off on Friday and Saturday, but I work some extra days before that kind of like this is to make up for those and give me days off to replace that. So I'll be off for the next two days. <laughs> My fun things are canceled. But anyway, I'll try to vlog as much as I can and show you as much interesting stuff as I can. So anyway, this time, see you possibly later or thank you guys for watching and see you next time. We'll see. a little bit early and I was able to collect a bunch of fallen cherry blossoms on the ground. I think I'm going to press them and use them for jewelry maybe and put them in resin. All right, I finished up work for today and I actually might go stop in Nakano and meet up with Mariana who I haven't seen in like forever. Um, she's doing some kind of filming stuff and 
yeah, but I probably won't stay out super long. But I really miss her, so I want to see her. Uh, I should probably pay attention to where I'm going. Yay! It's Mariana! You guys haven't seen her in forever. She is still really alive. I am definitely alive right now. Yes. Yes. So we're, we're wandering around Nakano, and I don't know what we're going to do, but just wanted to let you guys say hello. Gretchen knows this area a lot more than I do. Hence yeah. why we decided to meet up because I've just recently mm -hmm. moved around the Nakano area. And before that, I lived super, super close to Shibuya. So now that mm -hmm. we're in Nakano, I'm like, where do I go, Gretchen? Where's the supermarket? Yes, I will. What do I do? I'll teach you how to knock on out. How to knock on out? <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. The blossoms are beautiful right now. Ah. Okay, Nakano is absolutely beautiful right now. Look at all the blossoms all along the street here. 